You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. You're watching 2016 guard Lexi Barrier out of Ironton, Ohio. Uh, good size, good frame, good ball skill. For a kid her age, you're going to watch her here. Right-hand dominant kid, step into the pass that we always talk about in our videos, making sure she gets that shot up, gets her follow-through down. Really was impressed, as you can see with her form. Nice, tall follow-through, high delivery coming in the door. Uh, so gave us some things to work with. We'll talk a little bit about what we did inside the workout, some of the positives, some of the things that she can build on as she continues to become a, a better player each day. Really talented kid. We were glad to have her introducing Lexi Barrier. You see her putting the ball on the floor here one time to get to the rim. We're going to finish if we miss it and get it back out. The biggest thing we talk about a lot inside of our workouts is the ability to catch, be square so that you can go either way. Uh, with younger kids, we like to talk about that permanent pivot foot off the catch and shoot as we're doing right here. You see her catch step into it. Everything is still stepping with her right. As you get older, uh, you know some kids' footwork allows them to be able to catch it off of two feet that hop, land both feet at the same time, and then pick which way they want to go. Obviously, we teach that some kids are better with one foot, some kids are better going off of either foot. Uh, you know, that's something we talk about in the progression. You see her here catching, making sure we get that good first bounce, good first step, follow through is tight on every single shot. So even your misses look good. Even your misses look like they should be going in. We can fix that and then keep it rolling with an in-game adjustment. Uh, where Barrier is is only about 30 minutes actually outside of Huntington, West Virginia. Uh, Ashley, Kentucky, all right there in that tri-state area on the line. Uh, she's going to play with the West Virginia Thunder with their younger group, you know, Michael Johnson, uh, top 25 in the country, Jenna Burdett, top 25 in the country, both right now, Griffin Dempsey, top 100 point guard, and then uh, you know even Terrell Stapleton, big kid. So they've got plenty of talent on their older team. You know, we've actually shot a video with Tara McCutcheon who's going to play on that younger team. She's also there out of the West Virginia area. So plenty of talent going around out there right now. And you can watch Barrier as we switch into a drill. We talk about one foot finishing. If you catch the ball in your stomach pocket, be able to get that thing right up and explode. If the ball's pitched a little bit higher, which you'll see in a minute, then she's actually going to catch and explode up, come down with the basketball, and then finish. So if it's in your stomach, go right up, catch, and score. If it gets tossed a little bit higher, as you can see right there, Catch it, come down with it. We're simulating that offensive rebound and then being able to put it right back off the glass, soft touch, and still finish. Inside the diversity, you see us now actually stepping out to about 17 feet with our jumper. We want to work on both conditioning, which obviously we got in that layup drill. You get rolling, you've got to finish. You're getting that cardio workout in, but you're not thinking so much about it as you are thinking about making the shot. Then you got to come right back down now and knock down this standstill jumper. So not an easy task, especially for a kid who is still about 10 months away from seeing a day of high school basketball. As you see us move on, you know, Barry has really handled the workout like a champ. Now you see us start talking about some of that inside foot plant. You'll see it here, left foot plant, and then step with the right again, drag, and that knockdown, that one bounce jumper. Was really impressed with her overall footwork and just the ability to pick up concepts early. Uh, anytime you start changing footwork inside of drills, especially for younger kids, a lot of times they have a difficult time making that adjustment. You teach it a couple times, they get it and run. Where Barrier was able to really pick it up on the first uh, teaching point almost every single time and then do it correctly. And then we we're just able to tighten it up from there. It's neat. Her game reminds me a lot of uh, Elon Brown, who is at Vanderbilt right now, a junior from the Atlanta area, you know, in terms of style of game and shot. I think that she's got better ball skill at this age than Brown did. In that regard, she might be more like Bailey Coleman Cox out of North Carolina, a uh, junior in high school right now who, who had 45 in a game during our holiday invitation last week and really has elevated her play and her stock at the same time. You know, Barry reminds me of those two. Sticking to the footwork ball skill thing, as you can see it right there, pick that thing up and still get it out in pocket. You know, we talked a lot about the ability to create off of the bounce just with a simple counter. You know, we didn't get into ball screens and some of those more advanced reads, but just right there, being able to one, pat, change your direction, and then take one more bounce off the change, score the basketball. You see her get her feet underneath her and be able to knock down the shot consistently. And at that age, you know, you talk about kids that are 14 years old, doing that is a real skill.